Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, hello, my name is Charlotte. Today I'm going to do the stay at home mom tag. Uh, I just, basically, I'm going to read a couple questions, and uh, whoever feels like they want to be included in this, if they're a stay at home mom, please go ahead and feel tagged, and let's get started. So, uh, I'm going to go into why I am a stay at home mom. Uh, First, I'm going to tell you that I never thought I would be a mother. <laughs> uh, growing up, I didn't babysit. I wasn't around children very often, and when I was, I kind of shied away from them. Um, I don't know if it was just because I'm young or I didn't have younger siblings, but I just didn't like cling to children like at all. So, um, my mom always told me that. Like, my first favorite toy was always babies, like big babies that my gram great-grandma had, and I always played with them. But that was when I was a small child, and I loved my Barbies, but <laughs> I'm getting off the subject. Basically, when I found out I was pregnant with Ava, I knew my world was going to change <laughs> drastically, and I was, like, really not prepared um, to see that I was pregnant. I was scared. I was just like, this is, I never imagined it happening. And, um, prior to that though, before I married John, my husband, uh, I told him if we have children, I'm going to be a stay at home mom, especially while they're young. And he said that was fine. So I've always had his support in that. But, uh, yeah, as soon as we had Ava, uh, my life changed drastically for the better. Ava was something that I never thought I needed. Um, she opened my eyes to so much good and possibilities. And when I think about it now, I think, well, that's how life is created. And it's created through me. Like, it's created through women and... Of course the male has part in it, <laughs> but like for me to be the one to carry the child, Ava, and now my new pregnancy, uh, it's amazing. And I am so honored to be able to do that because I know so many mothers out there struggle to get pregnant or don't get pregnant at all. And I, I'm sorry about that. But there is adoption, <laughs> and John and I have actually talked about doing that in the future, even though we have our own children, but that's not what this video is about. <laughs> okay, so why I'm a stay-at-home mom, now that I'm back to that question, <laughs> I'm a stay-at-home mom because uh, I choose to be, and my husband's happy with that, and if we did decide for me to work, it wouldn't be because I have to it's because I want to and I don't want to right now um, I love being at home with Ava and soon to be this other one coming <laughs> I don't know if it's a boy or girl yet but we'll find out soon probably and um, financially it's just smart uh, for me to go to a part-time job which was what I would probably do um, it just isn't feasible I'd be basically working just to put my kids into daycare so not not wise so I'm glad it is the way it is and I'm super happy uh, what I go back to work um John wants me to find a career later in life uh, after the children are either in school or um, just around that age and that's another subject I'll go into in a minute, <laughs> the school part. But uh, anyway, if I do go back to work, I have uh, two certifications in two different fields. I've gone to two different schools, obviously. Um, one was a tech school for to become a travel specialist, which uh, I did right before I found or married John. Um, well, before I met him, actually. I did that school and that was out in Vancouver, Washington. A great experience. 
but um, yeah, I got that course done, did it in flying, flying colors. Uh, growing up, I didn't do very well in school. I just didn't like it and I didn't care to learn. <laughs> uh, just didn't like the idea of being forced to do something. Um, but that's a whole nother subject again. But <laughs> right now, uh, back to that school, I got the certification for a travel specialist, became a flight attendant, met John through that and stopped doing that after we got married and started our life traveling around basically. Um, so would I do that again? Be a flight attendant? Maybe when I'm older, like really old. <laughs> like I'm thinking after the kids are out of the house of course, but even then after that I don't really want to be a flight attendant because that's that entails a lot of traveling and I'm hoping Ava will get married and have kids someday and you know that kind of thing so I want to be around for it um, as often as I can be and then my other uh, certification is for a teacher's aide par professional um, I did that while I was pregnant with Ava online at Auburn University and I got certified for that but I haven't done anything with it because she was born shortly after I finished the course and yeah so I haven't done anything with it but I have that for a backup plan if I need need it and I'm gonna the next question is how many kids and age my kids <laughs> uh, Ava is two and this little one is like nine almost nine weeks old in my belly <laughs> So that's that's what's going on there and of course my spouse the next question is does my spouse uh, support me at being a stay-at-home mom he does of course um, <clears throat> do we get alone time my husband and I uh, I suppose if you count um, her going for down for a nap during the weekend and then uh, her going to bed at about 7 30 each night so at that time that's when we have our time together or I'll go out and do something myself uh, and he'll stay home with her but that's about the only thing we do we don't really go out very often uh, lately he's been very busy uh, if we do decide to go out to the beach or to eat or something like that Ava's with us <laughs> so um, it's a little difficult because we live overseas and we don't really have close-knit friends just yet and um, family, no family out here. <laughs> so, uh, but that's the way we've chose to do things and it's temporary and that's what we do. So we make it work. And my mommy time. Um, Basically when my daughter sleeps, that's when I do whatever I want to do. <laughs> Make a video, edit a video, uh, just browse on the internet, watch YouTube videos, get myself ready for the day. Um, yeah, that's basically my mommy time. I would go out more when John is home by myself so he could be here with Ava, but I don't know. I just like being around John and... I like us, us as a family, so I find it hard to get myself out of the house by myself uh, when I have the chance. I know that sounds weird, but yeah. <laughs> and then, okay, so back to the school part. Uh, for homeschool or public school, I am probably going to do homeschool as of right now. As of right now, that's what I have in mind. I am definitely terrified of doing it. But I think with the knowledge I know about school in general, being a public school child, um, I think it's best. And with what's changing in the world these days and what is accepted and what is just looked over is just drastic. And I'm just tired of it. And there's no... I'm not one to want to protect Ava, like protect her, to the point where she's like a loner or something like that. But 
I want a very close eye on what she's being taught. So that's why I consider uh, doing the homeschooling over sending her to public school, plus this little one in here. I don't know, if, you know, my children. <laughs> there we go. Um, but if I go back to work, the next question is go back to work, do what? I kind of went into that already. Um, what would I do though? Uh, I don't know. I really don't. I would probably fall back on either one of those uh, career fields that I've gone to school for. Um, definitely go there first. But uh, it just all depends on where we are at that time if I need to. Uh, but yeah, I'm not really concerned with that right now. Um, hard parts of being a stay-at-home mom. Well. <laughs> okay, again, we live way far away from everyone. So, uh, just being around Ava 24-7 every day is hard. <laughs> like, you don't even realize it that you're bothered because you just haven't had any alone time, I guess, or time to have to yourself. I don't know. Just some days she's just so clingy, like this morning I tried to film this video and she, like while she was awake. Right now she's in her crib sleeping. But I tried to film this video like a vlog style almost because she would not leave me alone. <laughs> she would not leave me alone. Um, didn't matter what I did, what toys I got out for her, she just wanted my attention, which is cute, and I understand that. But again, it's frustrating. <laughs> it's like, I just need to talk to this camera for five, 15 minutes or so. Can I please just do that? <laughs> no. Okay, so um, the next question is if I have made friends, if I have girlfriends. And yes, I do. I actually have one that moved in right across the street from me. So I'm super happy about that. And she's just getting settled in to her new home. And that's a big relief to have her around. Um, I'll mention her later on probably on my YouTube channel if she gives me consent to do so. Uh, but yeah, she's one of my good friends here so far. Um, I have some other acquaintances that I know here, uh, but I don't really get together with many other women around here right now. I thought about doing a mommy group, um, but with this summertime and with Ava still taking naps and stuff, I feel like every time they have an event, it's like during her nap time. So I'm like, eh, well, mommy needs a rest, so. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's basically all I have for you guys today. If you have any more questions, please let me know down in the comments. I would love to talk with you. Um, give this video a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you would like to see more footage from me, more videos, I should say. I'll be doing pregnancy updates soon. I do need to do a cleaning video again. I do clean around the house, but girl, boy, uh, I'm tired <laughs> a lot. With this pregnancy, I've been really fatigued a lot and just recently started feeling back to myself, which is great. I'm super happy about that. Yeah, and for all of you that have given me prayers, I really appreciate that, and they are helping. So thank you again. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.